in this tutorial we want to look at how to draw a simple um wave or a sound wave and also we'll be looking at rhythmic sound waves how we can work with it a bit in inkscape i'm using inkscape 1.0 so to draw a simple sound wave or a wave in general to draw just a wave in general you can either use a bezier curve or the free hand line i will use a bezier curve and i just go like this I think I, I have sufficient double click to leave it that the problem I have is that I have um, the fill so if you if you don't know and you are new just go to object fill and stroke and this dialog box will open for you and then I want to remove the fill so that we have just this one here now we go go for your edit pass by notes tool and then I would just select the top one here and then we want go to add um, objects align and distribute because we want to align them on you know, this go to here align selected nodes to come on horizontal line so it looks a bit nice you know uh -huh. and then this as well I'll do that and then maybe I'll make everything go here and make selected nodes smooth I uh, so that it looks a bit like this here I have a node here I did not want really I can either delete it if it's in the way where is it delete it so that we have I have something like this you can always use um, this to adjust things a bit if you can come here and adjust things if in case you want it to look very exact you can also use this a bit or move this around here and there for you to get now I, I think I'm good with this you can adjust this a bit now let's see here what we want to do now is I am going to just for you to just see let's go to fill and stroke again and then I would go to the stroke stroke style and then I will increase it a bit just for visibility for you to see okay so this is what I just wanted to show okay now the next thing is somebody was asking me um, if I have um, something like some music or some sound generally and I want to um, represent it in SVG how do I do it now um, thankfully I, I looked on YouTube and I'm I saw th that um, there was a, a video which also talked about such a thing similarly and what you can do is that you have to, you go to this home page here this is a page that converts um, uh, audio files to SVG so you go there and then you when you come here for example let's let me just um, when you open it it's something like this and then it will give you the option to choose an audio file if you click here it will take you somewhere where you can take your audio file you uh, or you can try that sample you can also just drag your the file in Then it tells you that it's in order to draw your waveform, you must play your audio file. So let's play it. So that. So now I think I'm good with what I want. And then you stop. And then you go. And then you come here and say save as SVG. So now it's going to save it as SVG. So if I press save, you can choose wherever you want to save it. As I want to save it just here save it here and then you can now move the file um, to into your into inkscape and then the file it comes like this so when it's like this let me reduce it a bit it looks so huge um, I go to shift control and then I make it a bit small I hope you guys can see okay now it, it tells you that when you look down here it said a group of two objects so to um to get maybe the 
this thing here the sound wave here from the to detach it from this from the background in case you don't need a background or you need a background but uh, you want to give it any color and do design on your sound wave you can just come here and then you go to objects and then you say on group oops yeah i don't know whether okay the no object on group yes okay now it's on grouped you have two uh, ob uh two things here i click out there put give this a, a a color that we can see so that to make things easier for you guys and then i move this to the bottom so that i know this is my wave let's color the wave a different color before i remove the background or else we can't see anything like i color it because it's um this is drawn with stroke i will go to shift and then give it a color maybe i color it blue okay now i if i remove the background i can see because it was white and then other than that i couldn't see so now i delete my background so we are left with this generally you can also in case um you you can leave it as it is and then we are done with it or let's do a duplicate i right click mouse and then do a duplicate i bring it here and then maybe i go to object on group now you see this the whole thing is on group so i can pick different parts in case i just want to pick different parts and give them different colors so i've picked this part and maybe i pick this part and then maybe give it a different color i'm always going to shift okay shift and then this oh the yellow is not looking um it's not really visible is it or can you i don't know whether you guys can see uh what can i do i just select it again let's give it a different a color that i know you guys can see something like this is okay and then this i select also this maybe and then give it a, another color what color should i give it i give it maybe this color that might be visible to you guys yes so you can do something like that so you can also do some design in case you can also draw something like a circle in uh, around it and then you can give it some gradients or so just to make it pop a bit let's give it a mesh gradient so i'm going to choose this and then when i click here i would move this down so let's go to the selection and then i lower this down um maybe something like this just to give some design i don't know the whether it helps it to pop a bit let's see here maybe i remove the background uh, the the stroke i go to um the stroke and remove it maybe it makes it better actually i'm beginning to think because this is orange maybe we should change this color you know i would go back here and the fill i will bring it back um let's give it a, a different color first i don't know which color to give uh, maybe this and then we give it the the mesh um we'll see how it looks whether you like mm, i think it's not it's not looking bad yeah so this is how you can get a rhythmic sound wave you can also draw these ones by just using a rectangle tool and then drawing some and using interpolation to get uh, some of it what do i mean by that in case somebody says but please do it for me to see then i do it quickly i do something like this and then i do something like that and then maybe i select both i'm just not going to do a, a, a big chunk but just a little for you to see 
I'll change it because there I'm going to use an extension that refers to path. So maybe I change this to object to path and then I go to extensions and I go to generate from path and then I go to interpolate. So here maybe I wouldn't interpolate our templates maybe five or I should have made a distance big. Okay, but that's not matter. I do a live preview. You see, it's interpolates it and then you do apply. So you can use this technique to do different parts of the of your thing. If I shift control, let me extend it a bit for you to see what it was. I mean, the distance I did was very little, but I guess you get the concept how you can do it. You can increase the distance between the two when I placed it and then you can and then um, interpolate it nicely and then do pieces of it if you you don't have any sound but you are just doing it for your own fun thank you for watching if this helped you in any way please help me as well by subscribing to my channel or please give the video a like thank you bye